Now, I don't know how you have dealt with all the lockdowns this year, uh, but Taylor Swift, whose uh, birthday it is today, happy birthday, Taylor, um, uh, she has been a busy bee, hasn't she? Uh, on Friday, uh, she released her second new album of the year, uh, and then also during lockdown, she has been re-recording her first six albums. And about 10 days ago, the world uh, got a sneak preview listen of one of those re-recorded songs, Love Story, because it featured on an advert for the dating website Match. Some of you may have seen it. Now, the advert is called A Match Made in Hell. Uh, and it features a supposed romance, uh, an online romance that blossoms between Satan and a woman that just happens to be called 2020. And in this date, Satan and 2020, they meet for their first blind date under this bridge. Uh, and uh, then they go on all these romantic dates from that point on, which have all been made possible because of the nightmare year that we've been having. So you see them working out in a totally empty gym, uh, watching a movie in a totally empty cinema, and of course, stealing lots and lots and lots of loo roll. Now, whatever you make of the advert, and it certainly caused a bit of publicity, the message is clear. This year has been a mess. You know, if you type in 2020 is into Google, uh, the top three predicted sentences that you are going to click on are 2020 is a bad year, 2020 is almost over, and 2020 is a mess. And that is true, isn't it? 2020 has been a right mess. So much has not been as we had hoped that it would be. And more than just the sort of tongue-in-cheek challenges of closed gyms and no loo roll, there has been pain and poverty. There has been injustice and isolation. There has been disease and death. And yet, you know, as we gather today, as we gather today to celebrate the birthday of Jesus, not Taylor Swift, um, Jesus too, he was born into mess, wasn't he? You know, despite the idyllic Christmas card scenes that we see of Jesus' birth, it wasn't all cozy and nice. We're told he was placed in a manger, literally an animal feeding trough. He it was born into mess. Uh, and not just mess at the micro level, but Jesus was born into mess at the macro level too. Uh, we heard in our readings how uh, Caesar Augustus, he issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. You see, Jesus Christ, he was born into a nation that was under oppressive restrictions, fearful of the future, and facing an uncertain journey back to a new normal. Jesus, he is no stranger to the mess that you and I, we have been experiencing in 2020 due to COVID and Brexit. And yet... This year, as in all years, there is far more to Christmas than just mess. There is also a mess itch. And the angel says this message to those first shepherds. The angel says, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Now, the question is, how come? How on earth is that possible? How can there be joy for all people despite all this mess in our world? How is that possible? Well, at Christmas, the message of joy is that the one who created this universe, the one who is Lord over everything, he became one of us in order to connect with you and me. God came onto this earth to be in person, not some distant deity, but to be in person, in amongst all our mess. And so at Christmas, we have the mess, we have the mess edge, but we also have the mess ire. And my goodness, this year, more than ever, we have needed a Messiah, haven't we? Messiah literally means a savior, a deliverer, a rescuer, a liberator. And people have been looking in all sorts of places for that. Think of the U.S. election. For many, Joe Biden may be a vast improvement on Donald Trump, but he cannot be the Messiah of the American people any more than some thought that Trump might be that four years ago. Or, or think of COVID. What did Boris say just last week? He said that a laboratory in Wrexham could provide, and I quote Boris here, it could provide salvation for humanity 
as it produced the vaccine. Now, as lovely as Wrexham, I'm sure, is, and as important as the vaccine certainly is, it cannot possibly be the salvation for humanity, can it? Because quite frankly, there is still plenty of other mess in this world, plenty of other ways. If we're honest, you and I can die other than from COVID. In this Carols by Candlelight talk, each year I often refer to some of the Christmas adverts that have been put out by the big brands. Call it a bit of a sort of HTC Christmas tradition. Well, this year, you know, not John Lewis, not Marks and Spencers, not Sainsbury's, but actually, I think Lego have best hit the nail on the head this year. For Lego's Christmas advert, it has the tagline, rebuild the world. And that's what's needed, isn't it? We need a Messiah. We long for a Messiah that is able to rebuild the world. But the question is, where will we find that? Well, look at how the message from the angel continues. The angel says, today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Now, Taylor Swift, she is uh, famous for leaving cryptic references for her fans in social media, counting down the days to the arrival of her latest album to be released. But you know, the Old Testament, it is littered with over 400 references to the arrival of a promised Messiah, a Messiah who will sort out all the mess. And the claim of Christmas is that this Messiah, this savior figure, the, the savior figure doesn't come in the form of some politician, doesn't come in the form of some vaccine, doesn't even come in the form of some Lego creation. No, this Messiah comes as a baby, a baby that grew up to be the only person ever to walk on this world who could sustain the weight of all our hopes and our fears, even in 2020, and still never leave us disappointed. A Messiah who was the only person who could enter into the mess of our world and begin to rebuild it. And that is because Jesus Christ is the only person ever to walk on this world who is without his own mess. Jesus went from the crib to the cross that he might take the punishment for all our mess, your mess and my mess, so that our lives might be rebuilt in him. And it's true, isn't it? We celebrate the birthdays of people who are alive, not those who are dead. And this year, this Christmas, we celebrate Jesus' birth because Jesus Christ is alive today. The one who died, he rose again, conquering over our mess, conquering over our sin, conquering over Satan, who I don't think looks like he does in the match advert. Jesus Christ, he rose again, above all, conquering over death. Death, the, the one thing that most brings us fear. Death, the one thing above all that has been brought front and central into our consciousness this year because of COVID. Death, the one thing that none of us can ultimately avoid. And that is why Jesus, he can and he should be your Messiah and my Messiah because he got through death. And that means he can get us through death too if we place our trust in him. You see, though we misplace our trust, Though we misdirect our desires, though we mistake our ability to be able to sort things out in our own strength, the truth remains that every single one of us, we still need a Messiah like Jesus. Nothing else will do. You know, I wonder if you realize that every single one of us here each one of us, we have something in common with those shepherds. You may not have thought it. There they are, these shepherds, looking after their sheep on a hillside outside of Bethlehem 2,000 odd years ago. But actually, you and I, we are faced with exactly the same dilemma that those shepherds were faced with. The message from an angel. Is it true or is it false? This message is it true that Jesus Christ, this baby born in Bethlehem, is it true that he is the savior of the world? Is it true that he is the Messiah come to rescue us out of that mess? 
Is it true? All false. We well, you know what those shepherds did. After the angels left them, what did the shepherds do? They said to one another, they said, let's go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. Let's go and see, they said. Let's investigate. And if you're here this evening and you are not yet certain about Jesus, can I encourage you, this Christmas, it would be a wonderful time to do the same as the shepherds, to go and see, to investigate Jesus, to find out whether Jesus can and should be your Messiah and Savior. You know, in Taylor Swift's song, Love Story, that uh, is heard in that advert, it has lyrics in it that are far, far more appropriate, not for a match between Satan and 2020, no. But lyrics that are far more appropriate are something that, that Jesus Christ might say to each one of us. Because Taylor Swift, in that song, she sings these words. She sings this. She says, this love is difficult. And Jesus' love for you, it is difficult. It cost him his life. This love is difficult. But it's real. Don't be afraid. We'll make it out of this mess. This Christmas, can I ask each one of you, this Christmas, will there be a match? A match between you and Jesus, your Messiah.